has this image where he can give other people a reputation and be able to allow them to sell something. And he sells courses on how to get rich selling stocks. And I, I was talking to you about it and it just, it got me because I know kids, I work with students who I'm, I'll talk to and I'll be like, dude, what are you gonna do after high school? How, how are we gonna get things together? And he'll look at, they'll look at me and they'll go, nah, man, like I already got it together. I'm like, what do you mean? Like, I'm gonna trade stocks, I got it all together. I met this guy on Instagram and he, I, I'm giving him some money, I'm making $5 a week now and I'm gonna make a bunch more money the more money I invest. And I'm like, dude, that, that's a, like, I, I don't, it sounds like a scam, like I don't know, but no, man, this guy makes so much money, he's got his cars, he's got all this stuff, and he, if I buy his course, then I'll be able to make a whole bunch of money. And it just like, it worries me so much because we have people staking their reputation, like staking their money and where they're gonna spend their time over the next few years based off of this myth that people are selling because I'm gonna teach you how to get rich quick and it's like, it doesn't fucking exist. And it just makes me so sad because I'm looking at these kids that have had all sorts of shit throughout their entire life. And they'll go and they'll buy this course and they'll save up money from whatever job they're working so that they can get this ebook and have contact with this guy. But it turns out that this guy is just siphoning money from people buying courses and he's probably not making or doing any of the things that he's saying he's doing. Like, it, it gets me so fucking frustrated. Like, entrepreneurship or what's happening in social media is not based around how can I leverage other people it's based around what can I do for you and if I can give you more than you give me maybe you can pay me a little bit of money that's what it really comes down to and, I, and that's what I want this thing to be about is like I never called myself an entrepreneur until somebody else did and I still use that term super loosely because I'm like I don't want to be associated with it but if you're gonna do that it should stand for how can I execute for you how can I be empathetic to your needs and how can I give to you before I take from you?